LaGrange, we will begin with an invitation to be offered by Reverend Dr. John Byers of the First United Methodist Church to be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. And it is my great joy to bring greetings on behalf of the members and the ministers of the First United Methodist Church of LaGrange and to assure you of our prayerful support and the vital work that you do. Let us pray. We give thanks our Heavenly Father for the gift of this day, for the strength and compassion of our people, for America's vision of liberty and justice for all, and for the privilege of adding value to this great community. Remind us, O Lord, that empowered by your divine providence, the greatness of our people rises on the tide of freedom's holy light. As we enjoy the blessings we have received, stir in us a desire to invest ourselves in others and to find our purpose in lifting them up. Grant that our honorable mayor and council persons may lead women and men of goodwill throughout our city in living out the timeless call of the prophet Micah to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with God. Empower them to make decisions on our behalf that help us form a more perfect union. These blessings we ask in the name of the one true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the God of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Dr. Byers. Council members have all been given a copy of the minutes of our regular council meeting held on August 12th. I would entertain a motion. Second. Have a motion second to approve. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? No. That passes unanimously. Okay, well, we will skip down to reports. And do I have any council member reports tonight? Yes, I'd like to report that it's extremely hot outside. <laughs> You are, you are very correct, very, very accurate, yeah. No report. No report, okay. Uh, city manager report, Ms. Kelsey. Uh, yes, sir, Mayor. This morning we met at work session and had a lengthy discussion about ARPA funds that are coming down from the state government for a grant period of August 1st through August 31st. Um, city Attorney Todd has prepared a number of resolutions that are before you tonight that I will just briefly go through because we did have a lengthy discussion and then I'll just ask you as one motion to approve all these resolutions, if that's okay with council. Sounds great. So we'll start with the first one um, for the renovation and repurposing of Unity uh, School Campus by the LaGrange Housing Authority. So this is a resolution of support, and they have also asked for matching funds from our ARPA bucket in the amount of $500,000. The second resolution is from Dash for LaGrange. Uh, to help fund workforce housing. Um, they are asking for support and also for a cash match of $250,000. Following that is a request from Troop County for support for phases two and three of the Griggs Recreation Center. As you know, we already allocated a million dollars of our ARPA funds for phase one. Uh, so this is only a resolution of support with no financial commitment. Um, we also heard from New Ventures today. Uh, again, this is a letter of support uh, for a 24-hour, uh, seven-day-a-week emergency shelter with multiple transitional housing pods and, wrap and wraparound human services support. Um, we also uh, discussed this morning uh, for the city to ask for funds to complement um, the DCA Innovative Grant Workforce uh, development that we receive funds for. Uh, we're going to request an additional $4 million, as we discussed this morning, for that. So this would be a letter of support for that. Um, we also talked about um, sewer infiltration system and inflow remediation dollars in the amount of $2 million. This will be matching funds from our bond funds to help uh, repair ne needed uh, sewer lines. And I think finally, uh, water and sewer improvements for residential development along Moody Bridge Road in the amount of uh, close to $9.9 .9 million. Um, so this is uh, our request, the city's request for those uh, funds. Um, so if you wanna do that first and then we can talk about the city ARPA funds, Mayor, if you wanna. So we have seven resolutions yeah. of support, two with a uh, matching commitment and then uh, but there's seven resolutions as outlined and discussed by 
the uh, city manager in detail at the work session this morning. I think it would be proper to entertain a motion. The motion to, to approve support. Okay, I have a motion, a second to approve all of the resolutions. Yes. Um, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed, no. That passes unanimously. Okay. Um, and I'll just conclude with our discussion this morning about um, budget amendments really for the city ARPA fund. So we received those funds in July. We did not make budget appropriations um, this year for those. So we've talked about the million dollars for the Griggs Center. Y'all allocated that at your last meeting. You've now allocated uh, $500,000 to the Housing Authority um, pursuant to that being approved by the Governor's Office. Dash $250,000 with that same um, prerequisite. We would add McGregor Park, $1.3 million. Our water meter um, project, $2 million. And uh, lost revenue for the general fund in $800,000. So Move to approve. Second. Second. I have a motion and second to approve uh, the budget amendment as outlined by the city manager. Any discussion? Yeah, I was just thinking. Make sure we throw in fiber optics for all those projects, please. Fiber optics, right? Our our cable system. I, I just I'll have, have to. I'll, yeah, I probably need to talk through Alan about what we can talk, do. Talk with, with Alan about that because the reason why I'm saying that is because we're investing a large sum of money in these properties and we need to have adequate communication so you're, you're talking about like on, on these specific like parks and these pro these, these projects I don't if I don't, they don't have fiber optics that needs to be included the in right. the budget or, okay yeah, yeah I, I think I that's gotcha. a, yeah you know okay. that'll, that'll help improve the, the fire response times oh sure the communication well but if, if security if, cameras if McGregor Street Park doesn't have good Wi-Fi coverage that needs to be part of the Wi-Fi it needs to have a Wi-Fi cloud over it so forth but okay. I, I get you I, I see what you're I saying you. Thank yeah. you. and unity school and Griggs yep. and make sure that those have uh, have yes. high-speed internet so would that be part of the broadband I don't think it'd be I don't think it's a separate request I think it's just part of the budget okay. of, of and that's what, what I was getting yeah. at yeah. this morning remember we had the discussion yeah that's what I was okay getting. yeah so I had a motion a second to approve the budget amendment any more discussion, I'm through with my discussion. all in favor say aye. aye aye any opposed no that passes unanimously. And that concludes my report, Mayor. Thank you, Ms. Kelsey. Um, under resolutions, we have a resolution that is an amendment to the Hogansville Gas Facilities Agreement. Uh, yes, sir, Mayor. As Patrick Bowie discussed this morning, this is just a housekeeping uh, amendment to this contract. Staff would recommend council authorize approval. Motion to approve. Second. Have a motion a second to approve. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed, no. That passes unanimously. Under first reading of ordinances, we have an ordinance removing the Main Street loading zone. An ordinance of the Mayor and Council of the City of LaGrange to amend the code of the city to amend section 10 2104 of the code in order to delete therefrom certain loading and unloading spaces located on Main Street to repeal conflicting ordinances to fix an effective date and for other purposes. Ms. Van Shore, would you like to close us? Yes, sir. Our good news for tonight is the success of this weekend's Dancing for the Thread fundraiser. Um, so the annual event, um, we did manage to raise our, the, the thread, Friends of the Thread, they managed to raise $95,000 for the Friends of the Thread. So and there, are, there are the winners, but we also want to say congratulations to our very own city councilman, Jim Arrington, and his beautiful wife, Kathy. They participated in this competition too, and they did so well. They were so awesome. Congratulations to everybody who made this event such a huge success, especially to Natalie Hale, who worked so tirelessly on this, worked very hard on this. She's our executive director of the Thread. I want to say congratulations to everybody. Good news, it was definitely a fun event. Y'all have a great evening. We are adjourned.